Hello, Nomads Cult, and yeah, let's create such an organic thing here, like this vase. Okay, so something here like this. Okay, I start from the beginning and I delete this. I'm starting with a, with a cylinder. I turn the wireframe on. And here in the new version you can choose uh, if you want um, end caps or not. So in this case I do it with the end caps uh, because for the older versions, yeah, then you can see how it works. So change the topology, so maybe to 12, because we want a star shape with six um, uh, edges of the star and so here for the for the white topology you can yeah, choose something here like this or yeah maybe this so and then validate the object so and I use the cell mask and mask the top and the bottom and I split it off shell thickness zero and split. So this is our cylinder shape here. So for the UV here the in the new version 185 all objects have a UV map and um, yeah but we can delete this UV map so delete UVs and then you can unwrap a new UV map with a BFF unwrapper or with a normal <laughs> it's better to use a normal UV unwrapper so you need a map like this here. Okay. The next thing is uh, we need the star shape. So we use uh, the symmetry and I change here the radial symmetry to six and I use a top view and the cell mask. So I mask here that it looks like this. And then I use the gizmo tool to deform the shape to a star shape that it looks like this. So now I can clear the mask and yeah, you can use now the move tool maybe when you when you do it freehand uh, you can move here the, the shape here like this um, so or it's possible to to use the cell mask. So I have to clear. So now we can use a blur. And when you use now the the gizmo, so you can deform your object and with a mask we can invert the whole thing and yeah maybe do it like this here so here in the multi-res menu here you can uh, use subdivision I clear the mask before so then your shape becomes a little smoother or rounder like this
So we need a more topology. So subdivide it a few times, maybe hundred um, thirty-five thousand. And the next thing is we place here on the opacity slot a texture. So here you see such a yeah such a black background with a white stripe. It looks like this here and with the scaling here you can change here the scaling for the texture and it depends on the texture you use here what you get so I think this is okay then we need a layer, add a layer, and here in the MISC menu, you can set here the reproject options to opacity, and then project, reproject from itself. So, so when you mask here the, the opacity slot, here's the mask, you get something like this here. And with a gizmo, you can deform this object here. So for the mask, it's also possible to blur it a little bit and use a gizmo again. So I clear the mask now. So and maybe a round all brush to smooth the whole thing. Yeah. So, so we can give it a shell. So here's a shell. group of I don't know where the problem at the moment is nice. <laughs> That's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.